Hi, and welcome to another humble experience. I'm Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to cook bacon without using the frying pan. Super simple. I love using this method. It doesn't get grease all over. And in fact, some of the restaurants I've worked in, this is how they cook it. And you can always um, modify it a little bit. But what I've done is I've turned on my oven to 350. And what I have here is I went to the restaurant supply store and I purchased some parchment paper sheets. If you don't, uh, if you don't find the parchment paper sheets, you can always use the roll. It is a little bit larger than my uh, cookie sheet here, but that's okay. So let me get started. Now open the package. And I'm just going to lay this bacon out. If you do have a restaurant supply store, you might have seen, um, it's called laid out bacon. And it's actually a uh, bacon that's already been placed like I'm doing now on a piece of parchment paper. And you typically can get those in like 10 pound bags, um, you know, vacuum sealed bags, uh, that type of thing. And then all you wanna do is just lay your bacon fairly close together because it is going to shrink. And I love the thick sliced uh, hickory smoked bacon. But any bacon that you enjoy will work. And then what you'll have is all of this bacon, you can make BLTs with it, um, have it for breakfast, it's super easy. Um, having it pre-made like this, add it to salads, uh, recipes, uh, anything like that, but it's already cooked so you don't have to uh, worry about uh, having to cook it up uh, for you to make something with it. Or heck, I just enjoy it by itself. And that's okay if all of it doesn't fit, you can still put some on the sides. And then with this, I like to have it uh, raised up so when you, you know, when the grease starts to uh, render from the bacon, uh, it won't get all over your oven. So what I'm gonna do is put this in there and finish up getting the other uh, strips of bacon on another cookie sheet. But what you wanna do is put this in the oven, give it about 20 to 30 minutes, just check on it a little bit. You'll be able to smell it and if you like it a little bit soft or not crispy, you'll be able to tell that with some of the, uh, the fattier parts. If you like it a little bit crispier, it'll look a little bit darker, but when you pull it out of the oven, it'll be, um, uh, it'll be nice and crisp for you. And then I'll sh once this is done uh, cooking, I'll show you what, how to finish up the rest of it. So stay tuned. All right, I smell that bacon. I just checked on it and it's to the point where I in, I like the bacon. So let me get that out of the oven. All right, so here's that bacon. And then all I do is I have a glass plate here and I have a couple of pieces of and all I have here is a couple pieces of paper towel. And I'm just going to remove the bacon and set it on that paper towel. And if you want, you could do this on a paper plate or if you have a plate that would fit inside of a gallon size bag, uh, because that's and then I store mine in the refrigerator just like that.
And like I said, you just look at it periodically and um, get it to where uh, you like it. And this is how I enjoy it. And then with this, I just let it sit until that grease uh, cools down. And then I just throw this in the uh, garbage or you can uh, render that fat and keep it in a container. And that is how you cook bacon in the oven. Way easier, less mess than cooking it on the stove top. So once again, be adventurous, try something new. If you like this video, and if you've tried some of my recipes, give me a like, drop me a note in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Music